Hey, what's up, people? It's, it's your boy, and uh, today I want to talk to you about my two-month anniversary on the help desk. I feel like this is starting to become like a uh, a ritual or something, because you guys have seen me go from unemployed to job interviews to getting a job. Now it's two months in. Oh, excuse me. And let me tell you, let me tell you about what, what's been happening and uh, how much I've learned. So. Yeah, the best way to learn about IT is definitely having an IT job. You are, especially in the help desk, if you ever go on Reddit, like IT career questions, or have questions and and you go to a forum online, people will always say start off, start off at the help desk because one, they will tell you that, hey, everybody has time at the help desk, now it's your turn. And two, you'll, le you'll learn so much. And now I'm starting to recognize why they say that. It's because end users find ways to break things. And your job is to find ways to fix things. And almost every day I'm encountered with a new problem. It's like, yeah, there's some things that are routine, but there are just some people who just consistently break things. Or they, or they just find new ways to break things. And it's like, the job is like adaptive. Because you're going you're gonna to find, you're going to learn so much doing so much bullshit. <laughs> you're going to do so much stuff, man. It's crazy. Every day is something new. You're learning something new. But, um... It's, it's, it's two months. My goal is to be here for six months to one year. If you follow my blog, you will know that I'm studying for my for my OSCP, and that's coming along pretty swell. I'm even flush to this like, camera. So I have goals. I want to get into infosec, but right now I'm still on the help desk, trying to do my thing for the time being, I'm trying to make my life easier with scripts and things like that. So uh, the help desk is interesting because you get. You, it's at least at my at my company. It's a lot of account unlocks or just account creations, like domain administration. Like not like with like AD, but with creating accounts and unlocking accounts and emails and and such like that and like software installations. It's really low level stuff. Not very technical. Not very difficult. And honestly, it's a job that anybody can do as long as they know how to use a computer. Actually, after my time with the help desk, I'm not too sure if I believe that. Anybody can do this job anymore because I've, I've come across a lot of people who are very computer illiterate and it's almost frustrating how illiterate some people can be when it's uh, 2019 and computers have been around for a while now I, I believe your phone's a computer so it's, it's interesting I mean yes I get frustrated it's a good topic I get frustrated at least twice a day especially with users who should know better or users who are in managerial positions who shouldn't know better or just people who are mean to me you will definitely get some people calling up angry for just yelling at you because their application is broken and they want to fix now they're not they're not angry at you i mean but they're, they're more angry at the application but you're just there because you because you're the one who's going to fix it and if you don't fix it boy do you get a verbal beating uh, yeah a verbal beating and that's okay too but it's just that the hardest part about the job is is the people. No, the hardest part of that job is not being able to be there and fix the issues yourself. Because I work for a large corporations and they have thousands and thousands of people. And some of the people I had to remote into the computer and, and fix their problems. But sometimes I'm not able to remote into that their computer. So I have to talk them through it. And that's where it can become very frustrating to have to ask somebody, hey, are you a Windows 7 or Windows 10? And they say, I don't know. And, you know, I mean, yeah, ugh, dude, I, dude, I don't know. It's like, if you're on Windows 7, it tells you every single time when you log into the computer, you're on Windows 7. It tells you. It just says it. It's everywhere. When you lock the screen, it says Windows 7. So, I, I'm not, I'm not, but hey, but it's, it's, it's whatever. When, I, when that happens, I usually ask, hey man, is your tax bar black or light blue? Oh, it's light blue. Oh, it's black. And so, okay, that's easy. And it's just astonishing. Sometimes you, sometimes people just ask you the weirdest questions. So when you remote into the computer, they'll be like, uh, ask, ask them, hey, do you, is, this, is it okay if this person's remote into your computer? And, and they read the prompts. And they say, should I say yes? And I'm like, well, of course you should say yes, duh. But that's just my experience when I hope that's expect another video next month about me talking about something dumb. 
But as you all, like, comment, subscribe, check out my blog for my blog posts. If you like my videos, uh, thanks for watching.